Hello, Lorraine Bracken here from the Digital Explorer. Today, we're going to be talking about Vidnami versus Canva. Now, the two softwares, Vidnami and Canva, are very well known, but mainly for different reasons. Vidnami is more so a video making software specifically, whereas Canva is more known as a sort of graphics design platform where you can create different designs for your social media, create posters and so on. But for today's video, we're going to focus on the video making aspect of Canva and we're going to compare it to Vidnami's video making software. Now, the best way I can show you the differences between Canva and Vidnami is to actually go ahead and make a video and compare the two with the features, how easy it is, is it beginner friendly and we'll go through the pros and cons and the cost and the overall comparison of the two at the end of the video. I've also created another video that's a different style to the one we're going to show you today in Canva. I'll leave a link in the description. You can go and check that one out. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification because this is where you're going to find honest product reviews and tips about making money online. Now, the first thing we always need before we create a video is our script. And I've gone ahead and prepared this script for both our demo on Vidnami and Canva. We'll start off in Vidnami and where we are now is in the dashboard area. And if we want to start a video from scratch, we go to this area here, create a new video. And we're brought into the editor section. I have a video on Vietnami review and demo and I'll leave a link in the description. You can take a look at that. But just for this video, I'll quickly run through what we're looking at here. We have template, script, screen, voice, preview and download. Then you have all the different types of videos you can create within Vietnami. You can rename your video right here and then you have the format, whatever size you want to have your video in. So landscape will be for YouTube. So that will be the one we'll be focusing on for this video. Now that I've gone ahead and selected 16 by 9, we can go ahead then and choose from one of these templates. So as you can see, they have different colors and they also have different size text. For this video, we'll select this one here and it'll ask us to use this template and we'll go ahead. After we select our template, it automatically brings us into the script area. And this is where I'm gonna go and get our text. So I'm gonna copy and paste this information into the script. And I'll paste it in here and we put in the title for our video. The one thing to remember when we're at this stage is when we're looking to have different clips for our video, have a space in between each line so that it divides it up properly. And the next step then is we create scenes and it'll automatically bring us to the next section. It takes a minute to load up and Vietnami is automatically sending in our script with the different clips. Now, if there's something that shows up on your slides that you don't particularly like or you wanna change, you can do that. If it's the text you wanna change, you can highlight it. And if you wanna bold it, you can select the bold button and if it's the image you want to change, you can select the image, go to the left hand side, select a keyword that's relevant to that actual script. For this one here, your video does not have to be perfect. And if you want to put in maybe video, it'll show up all different videos you can use instead for your clip. So we can select this one. This particular video may not be exactly relevant for this text, but just to give you the example of what you can do. And once you're happy with your video clips, the next stage then is we go to our voice section. You have an option here for no voice, just music. You have auto voice. You can record your own voice track or you can upload a voice track yourself. And we'll select Kate for this example. You can preview the video. Hi, my name is Kate and I would love to read the script for your video. So sit back, relax and I'll do all the hard work for you. And now what we can do is preview our video. In the preview section, this is where you can get to add your music and you can add your watermark. And also there's an additional options that you can change the music level, the voice track volume and the voice track speed. You can go ahead and select one of the music tracks if you want to have in the background of your video. It uploads it onto the video straight away and then we can preview it five tips in starting a youtube channel 
1. Don't overthink it. Your video does not have to be perfect. Hit record and just do it. Now, you may notice the actual volume of the music is quite low. So we can go into the music section and turn it up a bit. And we'll have a listen again. 5 tips in starting a YouTube channel. 1. Don't overthink it. Her voice seems to be a bit loud, so we're going to turn that down a bit. And maybe turn the music up a little bit more. And select apply. As you can see, you can change this around very easily. And we'll have another listen. 5 tips in starting a YouTube channel. 1. Don't overthink it. Your video does not have to be perfect. Hit record and just do it. 2. There is no need to buy expensive equipment, use your phone to record. The important thing is you upload your first few videos. 3. Have patience. It takes time for YouTube to show your videos to a larger audience. 4. Focus on topics that will help answer questions in your so there you have it, you get an idea of what type of video you can get and how quickly you can create a video with Vidnami. And once you're actually happy with the preview, you can go ahead and say, looks good and continue. And you're brought on to an area where you can download it. You can generate your video. This may take a couple of minutes to render. And once it's done, you are ready to upload it to your YouTube channel. And that's pretty much the process of your video making with Vidnami. And now I'm going to jump into Canva and we're going to create a video and we'll see the differences between Vidnami and Canva when it comes to video making. I'm logged inside now on my Canva dashboard and the first thing we need to do is make sure we have the right dimensions. So I go to the search bar and select YouTube and I'm looking for a YouTube intro and then I know then I have the right size. We're brought on to some pre-made templates but I go ahead and select blank intro and we're brought in now to the editing area. Now to go ahead and create a video, there's a lot more steps we need to go through with Canva rather than Vidnami. So it is a lot more time consuming, but it is completely doable. So the first thing we're going to do is get the first line of our text that we want for our first clip. And that will be five tips in starting a YouTube channel. I copy it. I go back into our sheet here. This is our first slide. I go to text. I add a heading. And then we can just right click it and paste. And I'm going to resize that down. And we can simply move it down to the bottom here. And then what we can do is we can add an element and we select the square shape. And we move it across the screen and narrow it down. We can change the color to maybe a gray color. And then what we can do is we can change the transparency of that from 100 down to 69, 70, around that. And now what we do is we can go into our videos. We'll try and find something that might be relevant. And everything here you see with the crown is on the paid version. So you won't be able to use them clips. I'll go ahead and select this one here. And then we can move the position to the background and then increase the size of the video. And as you can see right here, it's actually a video clip for 16 seconds. So we can trim that down because it is a bit too long. And if we want to have it maybe for five seconds. And what we'll also do is we can change some of this text to a different color to highlight it as the important words. And I'll highlight tips and turn it into a yellow color. And I'll highlight YouTube and turn that yellow as well. A quick tip here is whatever your first slide is, you can duplicate the slide so that you don't have to repeat this whole process over and over again. So once you're happy with the format and the coloring and everything of your first slide, you can duplicate it by going to this button right here. And you say duplicate page. And automatically underneath, you're going to have another slide with the exact same format, text and video. And you can just simply change the wording and you can also change the actual video or image. Now for the next one, we go back to our script and we go to our second line and we copy it. 
and then go back in and paste it in to our text bar. I can bring back the text a bit here and bring this back up and we can change the color to the yellow we had in our previous one. As you can see, it's pre-saved. So you can just select the yellow and it's the exact same one as our very first slide. And then with the image again, you can delete the image and change it for another one. I'll go into business and see all and I'll select this one here. And again, we can position it to the background and move it over to make sure it fits correctly in the slide. And as you can see, again, this one is eight seconds long. We can change that down to reduce the size if you want. And then we can move on to the next one. And the process goes on like this. And you keep repeating the same process over and over again until you have your entire script done. What I have found when creating a video with Canva is sometimes it's difficult to find videos that are free that you want to use. And if you do come across this, what I'd recommend you do is go to the photo section and you can try and find a keyword that's relating to your video with using a photo or else you can use different backgrounds or you can actually use their elements. For our next slide, I'm going to go back and get our third bit of script and paste it in here. I'm going to reduce the size. I'll try 50. And now I'm going to change some of the coloring of the text to the same yellow as the other slides. And for this one, we won't use a video. We're going to use an image. I've typed in record. And then I'm going to put in this image here and increase it and put the position to the background. And there's one actually cool thing you can do with Canva that you cannot do with Vidnami. And you can actually have different elements or graphics within your video and mix it up a bit. So for the next one, that's what we'll do. We're going to copy this one. And then we're going to take out the image and we can go to elements. We'll go back to our text, select the next option here, press copy and put in our new text and just change it up to 50. And then we're going to change the color here a bit. Now you can use all these elements on the left hand side to change up your videos with different graphics in Canva, which you cannot do in Vidnami. And I really like this because it's different and you can actually mix it up a bit. So you can go ahead and select different images or shapes or change it up whatever way you want. Like for example, we could choose some of these characters right here and add them in. We can add some stickers maybe, or if there's something specific you're looking for, you can type it in here. So we'll try and look for a phone and see what shows up. And we can go ahead and select this one here. You can really be creative with Canva and make really unique videos. And on a side note and a quick tip, if you wanted to use Vidnami and Canva together, you could upload your Vidnami video onto Canva and then make additional changes by using some of these elements on your existing video you've created through Canva. For example, if you wanted a call to action like come visit my store or maybe come visit my website on all your video clips, you can put in a banner and select one of the free ones, have it at the corner of your video, not to take up too much space, and then add in some text, reduce the size, and say visit www.website.com, or maybe have a border, and you can have it at the corner of your video so it doesn't take up too much space, and then have your text in the banner. And then you can change the colors to represent your logo or whatever way you want. And then you can just copy and paste that banner all the way through your slides and that's gonna show up on your entire video. Now, that's pretty much the process of creating your videos on Canva. I won't go through any more slides as it'll take up too much time. What we can do now is add some music onto our video. And what we do is we'll go to the music section and you can go to this icon right here and select free and apply filter. And you're given a list of all the free music you can use. It's broken down into different categories such as happy, pop, 
instrumental, piano, epic, and uh, whatever you want. So we can actually just go ahead and select this one and you'll see it brought up here. Now, once you're happy with your video, you can preview the entire thing by selecting this button here. You can see it's 20 seconds long at the minute. And that's it, that's how you create a video in Canva. Just to run through now the pros and cons of both Vidnami, the pros, it's really fast and it's easy, super beginner friendly. And they also have the voiceover and text to speech features. They've obviously designed Vidnami in a way that anyone can use it. So there's no tech skills needed. The cons, there is no free plan. And that is a con, I suppose, if you are looking for something that maybe to do a video once or twice, they don't have that option. And then there is no graphics you can add to your videos like you can in Canva. And with Canva, the pros, you have a free plan. You got so many features and graphics you can use for free. And there's no watermark on your videos. There's a lot of softwares, they do provide a free plan. However, there is a watermark on your videos. And there is no voiceover, but there is a workaround. And I actually have a video on the five best text-to-speech softwares. I'll leave a link in the description below for that video as well. Now, the cons with Canva, it takes time to make a video. You won't have it done as quick as Vidnami. It's not as easy to use. Uh, there is no voiceover feature within the platform itself and no text-to-speech. Now, which one is best? Well, Vidnami is the perfect option if you want to create multiple videos per month that's easy and fast. There is nothing really that compares to Vidnami when it comes to the ease of making videos. Canva is a great option if you're on a tight budget and you only need to make maybe a couple of videos per month. There is a slight learning curve when it comes to Canva and you do have to spend more time creating the videos. But it is a perfect option if you want to only make a couple of videos, like I say, and you want a free option with no watermark. So there are all the differences between Vidnami versus Canva. If you have any other questions, as always, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also make sure to check out these other videos on screen. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. And I'll chat to you on the next video. Take care.